What's up guys, Leopold the Brave, and it's time to talk about Bowser vs. King Dedede for universes. I was not ready for this recording. I have to yawn. Okay, I literally woke up 30 seconds ago, I think, I, I think I leapt out of bed and then ran over here and hit record because I'm going to be gone all day but this is also the day the commentary is supposed to go up so I was like you know what I better record something and upload it before I have to leave Greetings one and all two uh, in this show we will but before weapons and all that or instead of talking about all this stuff I need to get back to the episode because that's what this commentary is for and be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you <clears throat> can so, Bowser vs. DDD was a pretty big episode that a lot of people requested when I was still doing fictional fights. And it was a Season 2 episode that was planned. But of course, as you all know, Season 2 didn't happen. So, it was switched to here. And it was a. It wasn't as big as I thought. I just had to look at all their boss battles to get their ge the general idea of their abilities and then look up other stuff. It wasn't like I had to search through the tiniest things to find all the secret little details. Everything that they have is just right there on the surface. So that made research very, very easy. There's nothing like hidden. Like Bowser being confirmed universal, but they only say it in like, um, Luigi's Diary in one of the Paper Mario or regular Mario and Luigi RPG games or something. Like, think, thankfully it's nothing that secretive. Or DDD is, um, universal, but it only says so because it's inscribed on the bottom of Kirby's shoe. Nothing ridiculous like that. Everything they both have is all on the surface that you can just watch by skimming through info, which is really good for research. And I totally wrecked the infinite power argument for versus debating. Because ever since Screwtech did Goku vs. Superman 2 and is like, Oh, Superman has infinite power! He's got infinity! Yeah. People have been really, like, anyone who has infinite power automatically claims victory. And it's, it's sad. I can't, I'm kind of angry at them for starting that argument. It's really, really sad. <clears throat> anyone who's in death battles is not allowed to lose any other versus debate, apparently. That's the rule. Anyone who's won a death battle can't lose, according to most people. <clears throat> also, as for this episode, um, I think I like Bowser more as a character. I don't know, I just find him to be a lot cooler than DDD. I mean, don't get me wrong, DDD's fine, I use him a lot in Smash Bros. Like, a lot. But, I don't know, there's just something about, about Bowser that's way cooler, makes me like him more. Maybe I just feel sorry for it because he lost to Ganon unfairly in the death battle. Mm. Oh, my knees <clears throat> Oh yeah, there's another thing, the Star Rod. I honestly don't know why I didn't give that to DDD. I don't think it was, I mean, yeah, it wasn't really needed in the end, but I was like, you know what, it's a Cur it's mostly a, Cur a Kirby item, so... Why would I mention the Star Rod if I needed to, if it was one of, if it was something in Kirby's universe, mostly. It's in both their universes, but it's more prominent in Kirby. Oh, I'm running out of breath. Uh, <clears throat> Christmas sickness. I guess I just needed to expand Bowser's arsenal a little bit more so his script could be longer. But DDD script is already way shorter, so I was trying so hard to expand this. Oh yeah, the cameo of Vic from Fictional Fights. Oh yeah, I'm surprised no one freaked out about it. That just shows how little people care about Hira and Vic and Fictional Fights and stuff. <laughs> but anyways, I've been planning in my mind like a comic series of Hira and Vic, like looking around for a job after they were fired from versus debating. Because fictional fights is no longer a thing. So I was going to have like this comic of them wandering around and looking for a job. 
That would have been funny. Like they would have gotten a job at a fast food restaurant, and then they started, and then they would have started fighting over whether grilled chicken or fried chicken is better. And that would end up in like this all-out food war, and it would have been awesome. So I'm still just planning it and thinking of it, wondering what else I could do with it besides that one food idea episode, because I don't want to start it only to run out of ideas immediately. You understand that, right? So. I am planning it, and if I do eventually go through with it, it may take a while, but who knows yet. This is just thoughts. It's it's in the conceptual stage right now. I'd have to come up with more simplistic styles for Hira and Vic so they'd be easier to draw, but I don't think it would be too bad. Hmm. But anyways, next time is Jasper versus Jack, the military grunts of their series. Um, Jack is uh, this robotic android type guy from Tekken, and Jasper is this soldier, court soldier type military fighter from Steven Universe. They're both big and bulky, big and bulky grunts who can take a lot and dish out a lot. They just rely on brute force, just showing off their strength, just plowing into people. So, it's a good matchup, in my opinion. I felt like they had enough similarities to make it by. Plus, they both start with the letter J, like the trailer says. So, yeah, I, th I thought it was good enough for them to make it by. And I thought it would make for a very interesting fight. It's definitely been one of the most interesting to research. I mean, I'm done with the research now, but it was definitely fun trying to figure out all the little tiny details. <clears throat> so yeah, Jack versus Jasper's next, Bowser versus DDD was a thing that happened because people wanted it, and maybe we'll see more fan requested episodes in the future. Um, I'll see you all next time. Leopold the Brave. Oh. <laughs>